Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Koviak. I'm going to take a minute and show you uh, my solution here for a double canoe rack for, that goes in the back of your truck, yet it also takes down and, is in, and it's portable, basically. Uh, and it folds up nice and compact. So I'll show you what happens here is, uh, first off, I originally bought this right here, because a lot of the places, especially one of the states I'm going to hunt at this year, uh, a, lot of, a lot of water, a lot of river access kind of stuff, and so me and John, when we head out there, we're going to be bringing canoes with us. I'm bringing a canoe he's bringing a kayak taking my uh, old town i got this old town 11 9 it's 11 foot 9 inches long sweet little canoe i love this thing they'll have a 13 foot kayak so originally my intention was i bought this rack it's a 170 dollar rack 800 pound capacity all steel weighs 85 pounds nice solid rock rock solid rack that mounts right up here on the back of your truck uh, if you guys watch my uh, river scouting video or scouting day video i just did you'll see it had it on there but it basically clamps right here and then up at the front corner here it clamps it sits on here and then it clamps does the same thing over there if you look at that side uh, you will notice that it is twisted up and then screwed back down while i actually while i was out there testing that i just did going down to do the dirt road there and i ended up catching a tree that was kind of on an angle it started you know the tree kind of did one of these and i clipped the top of that well what it had done over there on that side is it had actually on this piece of crap you know this, I, I like i like this truck but this aluminum stuff is pure garbage they're made out of um and underneath this this metal flange just underneath here is so super thin and flimsy i mean it's unreal how flimsy this is it's under here well what it had done when i clipped that rack it actually ripped and peeled this up about eight inches on that side all the way back to where you see that crease uh right there that spot right you can see it right there and there where you see that crease in there from there all the way up to the front it peeled that took that whole thing and peeled it up like that uh and ripped right through the metal that's on it through that thin aluminum so um knowing that i wasn't going to use that and that i didn't like the fact that this is so flimsy and i don't trust it going you know thousand mile trip i don't want to deal with it i figured instead of doing that i'm going to change this up i'm not going to use that so i went ahead and uh, made some modifications so anyway, like I said, sorry I had to stop there for a minute and pause that and help my wife carry some stuff in. But anyway, that uh, uh, that ripped that truck. Like I said, this is so I it is just so absolutely cheap, flimsy metal that's underneath these that I don't trust putting anything on there. And if I hit something with that rack sticking out, uh, you know, within the first two miles of being in the woods, I'll, I'll I'll rip it off again. So if I pay my deductible and have insurance put a whole new quarter panel on and fix that, it'll just I'll rip it up again. So I'm leaving it. That's locked down now. It doesn't bother me. It's held where it's supposed to be and i moved on to another idea so this rack is now being sold this is going to be sold on craigslist uh and i'm gonna eat a couple bucks on it but like i said it was a it wasn't horrible so leads me to this idea this here is my attempt at building one that is going to serve two purposes one it fits in the back of my truck and uh so it's nice so i don't have to rely on that uh being any damage or you know having it just on that thin metal part i mean like i said looking at this thing again not to get too far off topic but now looking under there and seeing how thin that is there's no way i'd ever even put a cap on one of these trucks i i that's just the craziest thing i've ever seen is how thin weak and flimsy that stuff is under there i mean it's it is it's like paper thin it's amazing um but and it's just riveted it's it's ridiculous but um anyway so this is uh what i came up with here now what i did it's just two by fours cost me about probably 35 maybe 40 bucks to build but sweet simple and easy to do and uh it fits it's designed to fit in the back of my truck i'll put it in there and show you in a minute but a couple things that are neat about it nobody wants to store this big thing okay nobody wants to have this rack sitting around their yard uh and i didn't want to have a rack sitting around my yard like this either so what i did to modify this is i made it in a couple pieces we have this whole front section here which comes up and around this whole section with the a-frames and we have one on the other end and then these two kicker bars this one and this one here these two supports there's four of them two on each side they are held together with half inch bolts so i can actually take those i can undo those and take those these two and those two boards and take them out and then i can set them aside and then take this one and that one and push them right together and stick them right in the corner of my garage or actually myself personally um, i have a spot for them which uh to show you here will go 
right there, you can see I, I've had those up there forever, these two 2x4s. Two I used to store some stuff up underneath those. I'm going to put all four of those supports right up through there and then stick those two things in on each side and it'll actually sit right up there. So that thing will tuck away and be completely out of the way. And uh, when I need it, take me about whopping five minutes to put this thing together. So real simple, you'll notice I color coded these on here. Let me see, uh, come around to this side where you get better light. Um, but you can see here that they are color coded. I got a black line and a red line. That way I know that this support goes there and I know I can line it up real simple. Uh, they also are labeled in here. This one says passenger side top, passenger side bottom, driver's bottom, and driver's side top right there. Uh, I wrote on the insides of these things in here too, just for reference. Like here it says uh, to tailgate. It says right there, it says it right here too. Tailgates that way and this side says uh, cab so this way it goes back together the same exact way I take this su this support here I grab that support stand them up throw the bolts in there real quick put this thing together throw it in the back of the truck um, These are just little one by uh, one by pieces of pine one by four pine screwed in there I left them down here long on the bottom on purpose So when my straps when I run my straps around here and up over the canoes um, They the straps can bite here and but you know They're not gonna slide off and creep around it just that's why it's down low uh, is to hold that strap on this will obviously keep that as an edge for that canoe to rest against which you can see more on this side uh, See I got that right there that canoe can bump right up against there That strap will come right around and bite right underneath here and go right up around it and work like a champ So uh, that's what's there. I may put some eye bolts in here But I don't know if I'll need to because the way I have it built again uh, These lower bars right here that you see down here these ones sit uh, like the top of my truck bed is about right here. So they're just below my truck bed, but my tie down holes are down here. So it's nice. You'll see, I can actually go up from here, wrap a strap around this and lock it down and just hold it right there real solid. This thing is, it holds like, you, I, I've never seen something so sturdy um, in there, especially like I said, that you build for 30, 40 bucks. I mean, this thing is, is an incredible little stand. It works like a champ. It took me, a, me, it took me about two hours to make it. And keep in mind, that was me being anal with some of this stuff. Uh, I did sand these, you know, I rounded them off so that there were no sharp edges on the insides and outside. So it wasn't going to, uh, cut or fray straps or anything like that. So, um, I'm not staining this or polyurethaning it or doing anything because, uh, it's not going to stay in my truck except for a couple hunting trips each year. That canoe fits in the bed of my truck pretty good uh, with the tailgate down it doesn't stick out too far uh, so this this will only be used on trips where I'm heading out of state and I'm pulling a trailer uh, for hunting trips like that so it may get used once twice a year uh, and if it lasts me two or three years that's good because that's about as long as I actually keep a truck at with the amount of miles I put on them anyway so realistically I'm not staining it and going through the trouble and the hassle um, I'll have to probably make another one for my next truck but I love this um, this this rack system here was nice the problem with this is this rack made my truck the wink wink link in the situation okay so uh, if we're going down the road if we happen to be in a different state say we're in Ohio and I clip I we go through a drive through or something and I clip something with the, one of the ends of those bars it's going to shred my truck like it just did when I just barely nicked that tree it'll it'll actually rip my truck up ruin it and then we're stuck with a broken truck and no rack that'll hold it and no way to get our boats home that I did not want to have happen this here um, if, if I clip one of these, it'll just it'll probably rip this board off or is probably what it'll do uh, Or it'll shift it and break something but the wood will actually break uh, Before this down in the bottom of my truck is gonna so it's gonna be a lot safer of a setup uh, I made it 70 inches along Okay, across these top bars 70 inches that'll let me fit both of our boats on there perfectly good so we'll be good there. And uh, and what else is nice about this is if I do break this, if somehow something like this happens to break on me out of state, I can stop at any lumber store or Home Depot or anything and buy whatever I need and fix it right on the spot. And I'm good to go. Another bonus that I didn't realize at the time when I made it is the massive amount of gear storage that you get. Um, I was looking at this, and you'll see it when I put it in the truck. Because like I said, bed of my truck comes up to here. But I mean, I can, I'm thinking about putting hangers on this on the inside to, to mount tree stand, hang a tree stand here, hang another tree stand here, another tree stand right here, uh, sticks over on that side, something like that. I got, I got so much gear storage uh, that I can put on this. I can lock the canoe paddles uh, right across here on the front. I can put a, you know, a brace here and put a canoe paddle on this side and another one on the other side you know i mean there's just so many different things i can use this for uh the options are absolutely endless so i'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the truck and let you take a look at what it looks like on there 
All right, there you have it in the back of the truck right there. Uh, sweet, simple. And another thing I forgot to mention is how lightweight that thing is. That metal, that metal uh, rack that I got right here, um, that one, it's 88 pounds or something like that was the weight on that thing. I mean, so you're talking 45 pounds a piece. Uh, you know, pre like I said, they're, they're pretty heavy. It's basically 90 pounds. This one, according to my calculations on linear feet, um, you know, and I looked up the weight of a piece of, you know, standard uh, pine 2 by 4 and I got one and a quarter uh, pounds per foot. So basically all said and done, coming in about 68 pounds on this. So it's actually lighter than that steel one. Uh, not too heavy at all, but you can see that it works like a champ. You know, uh, made it fit perfect. I did the measurements ahead of time, so I knew how high I needed to be, and I kept it as tight as I can be. Uh, that's about as far back as I want to run it, because I will be running a trailer on there as well, too, so I figure I'm good there. But I can also still push that forward if I need to, or, you know, need to go up more. But, yeah, like I said, it's just, you know, sweet, easy, custom-made to fit in there. Now, if you look at in here, you can see how I got that rail just off. This inside rail is just below the top of the truck. Did that on purpose. I have in this truck, there are uh, right under here. Can you see them? Let me see. You can see that there's a tie down strap right here where my tie down's hooked on right there. But there's a tie down right there that I may go right around this and loop and lock it there. I got one more up there and the front up on that side. And you can see them here too that I have one right there and one up there. So I'll lock them to the sides, but then I also have these tie downs down in the corner down there. And so I got tie downs in all four of these corners. Let me jump up on here, short guy, sorry. But you can see that hole right there is tie down. So I'll come from that hole, right up, wrap around this setup and bring it down and lock it in. Now this support, when I cut this one, I cut it to fit perfectly against that corner of my bed and this end of my uh, tailgate. So uh, it's solid. It don't move. It don't wiggle. There's nothing there. It's pressed fit in there perfect where my tailgate uh, just closes with a little bit of pressure on there and holds that in. Uh, so there it is. It's a sweet, simple little, uh, like I said, two hours, two, two, two and a half hours of work. And uh, I got something that'll carry both of our canoes to us, you know, hold together real well. And if I need to, like I said, if it does break or something happens I can repair it uh, it is 70 inches wide now instead of 78 which means there's less chance of me snagging on on something and uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty fired up it looks kind of uh, redneck I kind of like that I live up in the woods anyway so that works out real good for me so um, there it is that's uh that's basically that little homemade you know canoe rack right there sweet simple and and easy and nothing to it so I thought I'd take a second and share it with you hopefully you enjoy it got something out of it the best part about this I've seen similar ones online uh, but what I like best about this setup is that I use the bolts in these four cross members so I can actually take this thing down and fold it up to about the same size as what that is see how that's nice and neat and compact and you can store it well I can actually take that one and do the same exact thing. Take the front whole section, that whole front leg section, back leg section, smash them together, and then I just got the four uprights that I can just uh, zip tie right to it and take, make it one nice little neat compact package that sits right in the corner of my garage. And as you can see what I was talking about, if I want to get creative, there is so much storage stuff that I can do on these two sidewalls in here on, and this side over here. But I can hang so many different things, put stands up in there. I could actually even put a plywood shelf across this if I wanted to in here, put two more supports and a plywood shelf, have all kinds of stuff underneath here, have a whole nother layer of stuff right in here. I mean, this almost gives me the capability of having a cap on the back of the truck if I really wanted to, uh, to be creative with it. So the, the, you know, this is a framework for some pretty awesome uh, capabilities and things you can do with it. So I'm pretty excited. I, obviously I don't have it tied down right now or anything tied down on there because I'm, I'm going to take it out and put and break it down. But, uh, but I thought I'd show you before I did work like said works like an absolute champ i'm fired up for this thing and i think it's going to make uh make the out-of-state hunts where i'm taking boats with me just that much easier so thanks for watching we'll talk to you later bye